An information technology audit, or information systems audit, is an examination of the management controls within an information technology infrastructure. The evaluation of obtained evidence determines if the information systems are safeguarding assets, maintaining data integrity, and operating effectively to achieve the organization's goals or objectives. These reviews may be performed in conjunction with a financial statement audit, internal audit, or other form of attestation engagement. IT audits are also known as automated data processing audits, and computer audits. They were formerly called electronic data processing audits. Purpose An IT audit is different from a financial statement audit. While a financial audit's purpose is to evaluate whether an organization is adhering to standard accounting practices, the purposes of an IT audit are to evaluate the system's internal control design and effectiveness. This includes, but is not limited to, efficiency and security protocols, development processes, and IT governance or oversight. Installing controls are necessary but not sufficient to provide adequate security. People responsible for security must consider if the controls are installed as intended, if they are effective if any breach in security has occurred and if so, what actions can be done to prevent future breaches. These inquiries must be answered by independent and unbiased observers. These observers are performing the task of information systems auditing. In an information systems environment, an audit is an examination of information systems, their inputs, outputs, and processing. The primary functions of an IT audit are to evaluate the systems that are in place to guard an organization's information. Specifically, information technology audits are used to evaluate the organization's ability to protect its information assets and to properly dispense information to authorized parties. The IT audit aims to evaluate the following, will the organization's computer systems be available for the business at all times when required? Will the information in the systems be disclosed only to authorized users? Will the information provided by the system always be accurate, reliable, and timely? In this way, the audit hopes to assess the risk to the company's valuable asset and establish methods of minimizing those risks. Also known as, Information Systems Audit, ADP Audits, EDP Audits, Computer Audits. Types of IT Audits Various authorities have created differing taxonomies to distinguish the various types of IT audits. Goodman and Lawless state that there are three specific systematic approaches to carry out an IT audit. Technological Innovation Process Audit This audit constructs a risk profile for existing and new projects. The audit will assess the length and depth of the company's experience in its chosen technologies, as well as its presence in relevant markets the organization of each project, and the structure of the portion of the industry that deals with this project or product, organization and industry structure. Innovative Comparison Audit This audit is an analysis of the innovative abilities of the company being audited, in comparison to its competitors. This requires examination of company's research and development facilities, as well as its track record in actually producing new products. Technological Position Audit – This audit reviews the technologies that the business currently has and that it needs to add. Technologies are characterized as being either base, key, pacing, or emerging. Others describe the spectrum of IT audits with five categories of audits. Systems and Applications – An audit to verify that systems and applications are appropriate, are efficient, and are adequately controlled to ensure valid, reliable, timely and secure input, processing, and output at all levels of a system's activity. Information Processing Facilities – An audit to verify that the processing facility is controlled to ensure timely, accurate, and efficient processing of applications under normal and potentially disruptive conditions. Systems Development – An audit to verify that the systems under development meet the objectives of the organization and to ensure that the systems are developed in accordance with generally accepted standards for systems development. Management of IT and Enterprise Architecture – An audit to verify that IT management has developed an organizational structure and procedures to ensure a controlled and efficient environment for information processing. Client Server – Telecommunications, Intranets, and Extranets 
an audit to verify that telecommunications controls are in place on the client, server, and on the network connecting the clients and servers. And some lump all IT audits as being one of only two type, general control review audits or application control review audits. A number of IT audit professionals from the information assurance realm consider there to be three fundamental types of controls regardless of the type of audit to be performed, especially in the IT realm. Many frameworks and standards try to break controls into different disciplines or arenas, terming them a Euro OE security control a Euro A, a Euro access control a Euro A, a Euro OEIA control a Euro in an effort to define the types of controls involved. At a more fundamental level, these controls can be shown to consist of three types of fundamental controls, protective preventative controls, detective controls and reactive corrective controls. In inner system, there are two types of auditors and audits, internal and external. Is auditing is usually a part of accounting internal auditing, and is frequently performed by corporate internal auditors. An external auditor reviews the findings of the internal audit as well as the inputs, processing and outputs of information systems. The external audit of information systems is frequently a part of the overall external auditing performed by a certified public accountant firm. IS auditing considers all the potential hazards and controls in information systems. It focuses on issues like operations, data, integrity, software applications, security, privacy, budgets and expenditures, cost control, and productivity. Guidelines are available to assist auditors in their jobs, such as those from Information Systems Audit and Control Association. IT audit process, the following are basic steps in performing the information technology audit process, planning, studying and evaluating controls, testing and evaluating controls, reporting, follow-up, reports equals security equals auditing information security is a vital part of any IT audit and is often understood to be the primary purpose of an IT audit the broad scope of auditing information security includes such topics as data centers networks and application security like most technical realms these topics are always evolving IT auditors must constantly continue to expand their knowledge and understanding of the systems and environment and pursuit in system company. Several training and certification organizations have evolved. Currently, the major certifying bodies, in the field, are the Institute of Internal Auditors, the SANS Institute and ISACA. While CPAs and other traditional auditors can be engaged for IT audits, Organizations are well advised to require that individuals with some type of IT specific audit certification are employed when validating the controls surrounding IT systems. History of IT auditing The concept of IT auditing was formed in the mid 1960s. Since that time, IT auditing has gone through numerous changes, largely due to advances in technology and the incorporation of technology into business. Currently, there are many IT-dependent companies that rely on the information technology in order to operate their business for example telecommunication or banking company. For the other types of business, IT plays the big part of company including the applying of workflow instead of using the paper request form, using the application control instead of manual control which is more reliable or implementing the ERP application to facilitate the organization by using only one application. According to these, the importance of IT audit is constantly increased. One of the most important role of the IT audit is to audit over the critical system in order to support the financial audit or to support the specific regulations announced for example SOX. Audit personnel equals qualifications equals the CISM and CAP credentials are the two newest security auditing credentials offered by the ISACA and IS squared respectively. Strictly speaking, only the CISA or GSNA title would sufficiently demonstrate competences regarding both information technology and audit aspects with the CISA being more audit focused and the GSNA being more information technology focused. Outside of the US, various credentials exist. For example, the Netherlands has the RE credential, which among others requires a postgraduate IT audit education from an accredited university 
subscription to a code of ethics, and adherence to continuous education requirements. Equals professional certifications equals certified information systems auditor, certified internal auditor, certified in risk and information systems control, certification and accreditation professional, certified computer professional, certified information privacy professional, certified information systems security professional, certified information security manager, certified public accountant, certified internal controls auditor, forensics certified public accountant, certified fraud examiner, chartered accountant, certified commercial professional accountant, certified accounts executive, certified professional internal auditor, certified professional management auditor, chartered certified accountant, GIAC certified system and network auditor, certified information technology professional, to certify, auditors should have three years experience. Certified E Forensic Accounting Professional, Certified ERP Audit Professional. Emerging issues There are also new audits being imposed by various standard boards which are required to be performed, depending upon the audited organization, which will affect IT and ensure that IT departments are performing certain functions and controls appropriately to be considered compliant. Examples of such audits are SSA E16, ISA E3402 and ISO 27001 2013. Equals Web Presents Audits Equals, the extension of the corporate IT presence beyond the corporate firewall has elevated the importance of incorporating Web Presents Audits into the IT as audit. The purposes of these audits include ensuring the company is taking the necessary steps to, brain and use of unauthorized tools, minimize brand and reputation damage, maintain regulatory compliance, prevent information leakage mitigate third-party risk, minimize governance risk. See also equals computer forensics equals computer forensics data analysis equals operations equals help desk and incident reporting auditing, change management auditing, disaster recovery and business continuity auditing, SAS 70 equals miscellaneous equals XBRL assurance Abashi the Abashi business and IT methodology and framework. Equals irregularities and illegal acts equals AICPA standard, SAS 99 consideration of fraud in a financial statement audit, computer fraud case studies. References External links A Career as Information Systems Auditor, by Avinash Kadam, IT Audit Careers Guide, Federal Financial Institutions Examination Council. Information Systems Audit and Control Association, the need for CAAT technology, open security architecture controls and patterns to secure IT systems, American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, IT Services Library.